is bad. Hit it. Ha. Sand Hit it. and. Ha. Oh God. Ha. What's Hit up it. with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on Hip Hop News Uncensored? Hit me up right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Hit me ASAP. Very affordable rates. Now to our regularly scheduled program list. And as far as our leaders, the reason why we got weak leadership is because we keep picking the same type of person. Mm. You got to make white people make their leaders. They mold their leaders from children. Me, we were talking about this, man. Like, we got to find us a little kid, man, that got to give the dab and say, okay, we're going to take care of you for the rest of your life. And th this is what we want for the community. And if you don't, if you don't, once you get in office, don't do it. We're going to come see you. Like there is, there is no savior that's gonna come out and do for our community. We have to do it. Like if you want, if you wanted police violence or the violence against black people in America to stop, why don't you do the same thing you do when somebody don't bring you your dope back? Why don't you mm. do the same thing when somebody disrespect you in your hood? Yeah. But you let the white folk do whatever they want to to you. You know we so bold and we so gangster. And until you know something is happening to our children, then we want to wait on Jesus and we want to take it to trial. You know, this on us, bro. If we treated each other and really loved our children and loved our women and loved each other the way that they love their folks, people would be too afraid to touch our children. Did, did you see um the movie American Skin by any chance? I did. I saw almost three years ago. How, how do you feel about that in the end of that one? We we always often have a debate about that. Uh, uh, I, I I don't want to talk about that because the maker of the movie is my friend, okay. and I actually I actually went to him about how I felt about that movie. I actually oh. got into an argument in that movie why the movie was going. See, like, yeah. like I, I I literally stood up in the movie and was like fuck that. <laughs> I yeah. literally stood up in the middle of the movie in front of everybody and said fuck that. You know, it's 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 not my responsibility to criticize somebody else. That's why I created a banner video. I'm not gonna talk about nobody else's movie. I'm not gonna talk about no other artist and what another artist doesn't do. I'm gonna do it myself. I, I had the power to do for self. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 start I'm I'm doing it now. I'm in the I'm in the in the process of making uh, cartoons. Cause the sad thing about it is we can't even win in our own movies. Yeah. We can't even win in our own dreams. I remember I did this. Um, if y'all ever get a chance to, man, go and look up uh, the Black Fist video that I did for my song off the God Box, Black Fist. Mm -hmm. Like, one thing about a better vision, black folks gonna win every time in my movie. There was a movie that just came out recently where both of, both of the stars died. You know, I mean, we don't even win in our own movies that we produce and we create because we spend so much time trying to make white people comfortable. You know, I, I, I just, I don't see many black movies. I see a couple of them, but most of them are like Franz Fanon said, they, they're, they're black people with white mind. That, that movie, American Skin, was the closest thing that I've seen to a main, mainstream win. It yeah. just, I just don't believe we finished it. That's what, that's what, that's what, that was my biggest criticism. If it wasn't, it was that close. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and again, he is a great dear friend of mine. And, yes, and, and, and he knows how I feel. I called him and we had a long talk. And literally what he told me, bro, he was like, man, it's already hard enough to make films, but it's like, <sighs> the crazy thing is, even with the movies that I'm about to make, are black people going to support them? Because the truth is, a lot of these dudes who really want to make the films, you know, it, just think about this. All right, I'll give you an example. This is a better example without me criticizing somebody else's art. Um, I had some of my posts had gotten taken down off of uh, Facebook. And uh, my fans got mad. I'm telling you, them David Banner fans, they. Man, the motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> um, 
And they was like, why aren't you mad? I said, if I, if, if a white boy came on an app that I created, whether black people were wrong or right, and talked about my people, I would take his shit down too. Mm-hmm. See, we, we, we look at stuff as if we wouldn't do the same thing. White people, um, Marcus Garvey said this. Marcus Garvey said, I don't have a problem with racism. Basically, he said he had a problem with white supremacy, not racism. He mm-hmm. said, because you're supposed to be racist. Lions are supposed to take care of lions first. Tigers are supposed to take care of tigers first. But the problem is, it's not white people racism. It's black people's lack of racism. We don't take care of ourselves first. Mm. You feel me? Do you think the term white supremacy plays detrimental on the black subconscious mind? Yeah, I actually say white insecurity. I don't, mm. I don't, because they're not supreme. Word. Yeah, they're not supreme. Indeed, we're in the building with David Banner right now on the podcast. Yes, Go ahead yes. hit that like button, that five star rating. Having a great conversation, as we always do, man. Definitely appreciate the brother's time. As always, he is comfortable in his home doing the motherfucking thing. It's a beautiful thing to see, man. Brother at peace, indeed. Good? It's, no, man, it was crazy. I was actually taking a piss, but I didn't want y'all to hear it. So. No, nah, that's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you took that little I'm glad you took that little commercial moment for me so people nah, want me to take a piss, man. We, we understand how the brothers work, man. We know how this shit go. We un- indeed, indeed, man. Appreciate this brother, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Time, man. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My I, mom, wanna, bro, I, almost, I, I wanted to tell y'all, bro, I almost literally almost pissed on myself <laughs> while I was doing y'all podcast. So. <laughs> that was nah, a mystery. <laughs> It's all good. He politely put it on mute and shit. It was like, all right, cool. Now nah, I'm bruh. Hold on. For one second. Well, I'm going to tell, tell you how good y'all are, bro. You, you took the opportunity to uh to take a commercial break right at the right time, bro. Oh, yeah. We, I know. <laughs> man, look, we, we learned a lot of doing this shit on these video interviews. We know what motherfuckers need for a minute to chill out for a yeah, second. Man, yeah. Thank you, bro. Not no doubt, bro. Thank you. I, I want to talk about uh, trap music real quick. Um, Do you think... Well, I know the answer, but could you answer for the people? Um, you're one of the originators. You should be given credit to one being one of the originators of track music because you created, you know, you worked uh, Rubber Van Man for T.I. and a lot of other, you know, beats that you made. Would you say that you're one of the originators of trap music? Uh, tra- the actual music itself, like the inst- like, like, like the yeah. beats? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Um, I-, I don't know what our hangup is with history. I think that's going to be one of the detriments for us. We feel like giving people their credit will take away from us, and it don't. It's a lot of stuff that I created and I started, bro. Um, I, I I don't I know I wasn't the first person to put a tag, like an actual tag, on my beat, putting your name in front of a beat. Um, I, if I'm not the first, I'm definitely the second, the third. But I think I'm the first person that started putting your name, not a tag. But your name in front of a beat, it's a lot of stuff I don't get credit for, bro. But like we we were southerners, we were raised that you don't brag on yourself. That's for another man or woman to do. But I, I bro, I, I made a lot of things happen in hip hip hop that people don't talk about. And you know what, especially with southerners, but especially these kids, people will take, you know, our innovation, but then they don't want to give people credit, bro. Now, I always say this, man. The, 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 I watched the whole industry jack the Migos style, jack mm-hmm. the way that they rapping, and then they get on TV and act like they didn't just rip them boys' whole style 